On January 18, 2007, the MSC Napoli, a massive container ship, sets off from Belgium to Portugal. The captain expects nothing but smooth sailing on this familiar route. But little did he know, Mother Nature had other plans. While going through the English Channel, they hit Cyclone Kyril, a beast of a storm with 10-meter high waves. The ship was tossed around and all of a sudden, the ship broke near the engine room. The captain quickly sends an SOS and everyone rushes into lifeboats. They're out at sea, surrounded by towering waves, waiting for hours for rescue. It's a race against time and nature. Finally, the Royal Navy's helicopters swoop in, but the storm was so intense, it broke two winch lines from one chopper. Yet they pulled it off, and all 26 crew members were rescued safely. These storms aren't rare. They're part of the reality faced by cargo ships navigating the world's oceans. But how do these vessels endure and survive such monstrous waves? Monster waves and storms in the ocean, like hurricanes or typhoons, have their specific hotspots across the globe. They typically brew in regions known as basins, such as the Atlantic, Eastern Pacific, the Northwest Pacific, and others, where ocean temperatures hit at least 80 degrees Fahrenheit for about 150 feet deep and are situated at least 300 miles away from the equator. These storms tend to occur most frequently during the hurricane season, stretching from June 1st to November 30th, especially in tropical areas. Within this period, the peak months, late August through September, are notorious for the most intense hurricanes, particularly in the Atlantic and Caribbean regions. Yet it's essential to realize that these extreme storms aren't confined to a particular season. They can strike unexpectedly at any time of the year. Now, the intriguing part is how these enormous cargo ships managed to navigate these treacherous waters. Despite waves that could tower above 100 feet, these vessels have specialized technologies and mechanisms to stabilize themselves, ensuring they don't capsize or succumb to the immense forces of the sea. Cargo ships facing monstrous waves rely on specialized systems to maintain stability and safety amid treacherous conditions. These systems are designed to counteract the immense forces of the sea and prevent the ship from capsizing or experiencing severe rolling motions. One crucial system is the implementation of anti-rolling tanks strategically placed on the vessel. These tanks function by altering the ship's response to rolling motions. By trapping a larger volume of water on the higher side of the ship during rolling, they effectively reduce the hull's rolling period. This contributes significantly to stabilizing the vessel against the impact of strong waves. Another important component aiding in the stability is the use of bilge keels. These keels, often deployed in pairs along the ship's sides, help reduce the ship's tendency to roll. By increasing hydrodynamic resistance against rolling, bilge keels mitigate the impact of waves and contribute to a smoother sailing experience. Furthermore, fin stabilizers play a pivotal role in minimizing rolling movements induced by waves or wind. These fins or rotors are positioned beneath the waterline and extend laterally from the ship's hull. Equipped with an active control system, usually gyroscopic in nature, these stabilizers adjust their angle to counteract rolling by utilizing the ship's forward momentum. Gyro stabilizers also represent a critical safety measure. These systems consist of spinning flywheels installed within the ship, exerting pressure to counterbalance and reduce roll, offering substantial roll reduction up to 95% in rough seas for certain vessel sizes. Gyro stabilizers significantly enhance stability and ensure a more secure journey. In times of extreme weather, crew members implement various safety protocols. They secure loose items, reinforce vulnerable areas, and ensure that all individuals aboard are in safe locations within the ship. These measures, coupled with the ship's stability systems, work harmoniously to maintain stability and safeguard both the vessel and its crew, ensuring a safer voyage even amidst the most challenging conditions at sea. But it's not enough to safeguard the cargo ship. What about its crew and staff? Ensuring the safety of staff working aboard cargo ships, especially in the face of monstrous waves, involves meticulous precautions and measures to protect their well-being. Personal protective equipment, or PPE, forms a fundamental aspect of staff safety. Workers are equipped with an array of gear, including safety shoes, helmets, overalls, safety goggles, ear mufflers, and gloves. Additionally, high-visibility clothing life jackets, dry suits to combat adverse weather conditions, and non-slip anti-static footwear with toe protection are standard. 
This gear ensures staff are adequately protected in various working environments both inside and outside the ship. Safety belts also play a crucial role in situations where staff need to work at heights or in areas posing a risk of falling overboard. They provide a crucial safety measure, particularly when navigating outside the ship's interior, ensuring workers remain secure and protected. Safe working practices are instilled through proper housekeeping and adhere to ship-specific safety protocols. Simple yet critical measures such as securing ladders to prevent slipping, maintaining hands free while climbing, and moving one rung at a time significantly contribute to the overall safety of the staff. More than providing these pieces of safety equipment, staff and crew of cargo ships need to understand how to use them and what to do when strong winds and storms affect their ships, and this is where many versions of ships come in. Ship companies employ meticulous testing procedures to prevent potential disasters, ensuring ships are thoroughly evaluated before construction begins. Miniature scale models play a pivotal role in this process, enabling engineers to scrutinize a ship's performance under various conditions. The process starts with the creation of a physical model, a scaled down version of the ship based on the virtual prototype. These models allow engineers to estimate and analyze critical parameters before actual construction begins. These models are put through rigorous testing in specialized tanks. Initially, they're towed in a towing tank to measure resistance and estimate how the full-size ship will perform in motion. Later, these ships are subjected to larger wave basins where artificial waves are generated to simulate real sea conditions. Sophisticated systems measure fluid velocities around these models, capturing detailed flow data crucial for understanding how the ship interacts with different wave patterns. These tests offer insights into various aspects of the ship's behavior, from its stability characteristics to how it maneuvers and withstands rough seas. It's a comprehensive evaluation that helps refine the hull form, stability, and other critical aspects of the ship's design. Advancements in ship design software have certainly eased the process, but physical model testing remains indispensable. While software simulations provide valuable insights, they often rely on empirical relations established through physical tests. These physical tests offer tangible data that are difficult to replicate purely through software. Moreover, some innovative designs have introduced self-riding boats, concepts that can automatically flip over to the correct position if they capsize. These ingenious designs are aimed at enhancing ship safety, providing an added layer of security against potential disasters. Through these exhaustive tests and technological innovations, ship companies strive to visualize and enhance ships' performance in diverse sea conditions, ensuring safer and more efficient vessels that are well prepared to navigate even the most challenging waters. The pursuit of innovative solutions in maritime safety continues to drive the deployment of technologies aimed at mitigating disasters at sea. One significant advancement is the concept of self-riding boats, designed to autonomously return to an upright position even from extreme inclinations of up to 180 degrees. These boats utilize principles of buoyancy and stability when external forces such as heavy winds or waves cause the vessel to heal. The underwater section generates a buoyancy force that rolls the boat back to its original position. While explicitly mentioned for lifeboats, this technology is fundamental for all seafaring vessels, potentially including cargo ships. In the world of cargo ships, projects like Rowboat aim to develop autonomous vessels adaptable for various purposes, potentially including cargo transportation. While explicit mention of self-riding technology in cargo ships is not prevalent, the underlying principles are integral to ship design and safety. For lifeboats, the self-riding feature is pivotal. Many lifeboats possess the ability to self-ride, achieved through a balance between weight and buoyancy. This enables them to return to an upright position regardless of how far they've tipped, ensuring crew safety in emergency situations. Moreover, satellite technology plays a crucial role in enhancing maritime safety. Satellites collect real-time data about sea conditions, including wave height, direction, and frequency, which is transmitted to ships at sea. This data allows outboard computers to predict the ship's motion in response to the incoming waves. Crews can then take evasive actions, altering course or speed as needed. This technology surpasses traditional observation methods, providing accurate warnings of dangerous wave conditions and enabling ships to avoid risky areas entirely. Additionally, this satellite technology doesn't just contribute to safety, it optimizes routes for fuel efficiency. By avoiding rough seas, ships maintain consistent speeds, reducing fuel consumption. 
However, despite these advancements, instances persist where technological innovations aren't always capable of averting disaster. One such case involved the Golden Ray cargo ship. The Golden Ray cargo ship capsized off the Georgia coast in 2019, resulting in more than $200 million in damage. The National Transportation Safety Board found that the capsizing was caused by incorrect calculations about the vessel's stability. Despite the technological advancements, human error in entering ballast quantities into the stability calculation program led to the ship having less stability than calculated. The operator of the ship also had no procedures to verify these calculations, so the ship sailed without meeting stability requirements. Continued research and technological developments aim to bridge these gaps, striving for enhanced safety measures that mitigate risks and safeguard both vessels and crew in the face of maritime challenges. Navigating monster waves presents a daunting challenge for cargo ships, but with the right team and advanced systems in place, these vessels can safely traverse even the most dangerous seas. The combination of dedicated crews trained in safety protocols and cutting-edge technologies, from self-riding capabilities to satellite-assisted wave avoidance, ensures a safer voyage for both ships and their valuable cargo. Despite the intimidating nature of these maritime conditions, the resilience of these ships, bolstered by skilled crews and innovative systems, assures that the cargo reaches its destination securely. The journey through these monstrous waves becomes not just a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance, but also a testament to the collaborative efforts ensuring safety at sea. Bye for now.